One of the biggest challenges we face in our country is inflation, and we continue to fight it down. But I ask myself, how does inflation translate to how we live here in sunny Los Angeles? During this video, I'll discuss a big topic for which I put a lot of time and effort into preparing, the cost of living in Glendale. I would greatly appreciate if you liked this video and smash that subscribe button. That would mean so much for me. Alright, so if you're gonna survive in Glendale, you better start saving up your pennies for that loaf of bread. Oh, and don't forget to grab a few extra coins for that extra avocado. Inflation is known to cause some serious guacmageddon around here. Everything is more expensive. Prices overall are about 13% higher than they were in April 2021, with the cost of groceries rising by nearly 20% over that time, and the cost of gas up 22%. It's even expensive to stay home. For example, the cost of electricity has surged 21%. Rising cost of groceries is getting to the point now where more Americans are choosing to dine out rather than spend money on home-cooked meals. Glendale is the fourth largest city in Los Angeles County by population around 200,000. This city offers housing from rentals to condos to character homes, entertainment, plenty of restaurants, nightlife, transportation, lots of natural beauty, and so much more. Although it offers a lot, it also comes with a price to live here. I'll be discussing about the rental and housing market as it's the biggest cost that we incur, including other expenses to help determine the living cost in Glendale. Hey everyone, John Atomian from LA's Real Estate Talk, where we educate about real estate here in Los Angeles. Today, we're about to dive deep into the cost of living. We'll figure out what an average person's monthly expense would be residing in the Jewel City. So think of it like this. Cost of living determines whether we can or cannot move to a specific location. Each city has a cost to live there, and that's what we'll explore. The cost of living today is not the same as five years ago or a year from now. Prices can change over time due to one large factor, inflation. Flip Wilson, an American comedian, once wrote, the cost of living is going up while the chances of living are going down. And that's pretty sad. It sounds scary when we hear it or say it, right? But what is it exactly and how is it affecting us? With this question in mind, I dug into this more. With dollar signs in my eyes and a pocket full of hope, I set out to answer the age-old question, what is inflation and how does it keep our wallets so thin? According to the US Department of Labor, it can be defined as the overall general upward price movement of goods and services in an economy. Increases in prices affect money's purchasing power, meaning it takes more money to purchase the same items as a result, inflation can negatively impact people's lifestyles and spending habits. By the way, if you haven't watched my last video, I talked about different ways to save for a down payment on a house. I discussed saving money in various ways. Make sure you check it out by clicking on the card at the top of your screen or find it in the description below. But let's dig a bit deeper into inflation before calculating the cost of living in Glendale. There's something called the Consumer Price Index or CPI. This measures the average change over time in price paid by the urban consumer for a market basket of consumer goods and services. And the Fed was using this term transitory, transitory to describe inflation because they thought a lot of the things that were causing prices to go up in the near term were related to the pandemic. They thought eventually that stuff would just dissipate. Well, it really hasn't. Using the CPI is a way of breaking down the average change in price paid by an urban consumer over the previous month. This is broken down into major categories such as housing, food, transportation, healthcare, and services. To be clear, when I say a price has changed, we should be able to compare it to something that we can compare it with. A calculation of this type uses a comparison of the percentage change in price against last month. Okay, so let's put this into perspective. In Los Angeles, Glendale region, here, we're going to be comparing the latest data available to us, June 2023. Based on this data, we can see the CPI drop from 3.2% in May to 2.5% in June. That's a big drop month over month. One of the biggest contributors to the decreasing inflation is the Fed's increase in the Treasury rate by 25 basis points. And potential headwinds from credit tightening. 
Today we decided to leave our policy interest rate unchanged and to continue to reduce our securities holdings. When this increased, the cost to borrow money from the banks also increased from mortgage interest rates to credit card interest rates. Given this data, housing, food, and transportation are the biggest categories that affect our pockets. Now that we've got that out the way, let's talk about how much it's projected to live in the Jewel City, also known as Glendale. I'll compare the cost of living in two categories, renting and owning. But now let's talk about cost of living. If you're going to be renting, depending on the square footage and quality, rent can range anywhere from $1,600 to $3,400 per month for a one-bedroom apartment or condo. And for a single-family house, rent can range anywhere from $2,600 to $7,000 per month for a two-bedroom. On the other hand, if you decide to purchase a one-bedroom condo in Glendale with the current affordability and interest rates, that can range anywhere from $2,700 to $4,900 per month. That's the range for the condos from $450,000 to $650,000. And these include PITI, Principal, Interest, Taxes and Insurance, and Homeowners Association fees. Let's take the example of a two-bedroom single-family house because it's not very common to have a one-bedroom house in this day and age. Prices will vary depending on the location, size, and quality, but on the lower end, these prices range anywhere from $735,000 to $1,625,000. So translating this into monthly payments, they range anywhere from $4,900 to $10,900 per month. These monthly payments also include PITI. Let's not forget the housing includes utilities. The city of Glendale supplies water and power. The average monthly electric bill costs $171 and water costs $30. In this case, let's assume water and power combined will cost you about $200 per month. Let's not forget gas, which is about $70. Another big category for households is food. How much will it cost someone monthly to buy food? In this category, paying for food depends on whether you spend on groceries or dining out. Although this is subjective, it's going to vary from person to person and from one family to another. According to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, the CPI for food at home rose to 4.2% and away from home to 7.7% in June 2023. A recent consumer analysis by Nielsen IQ revealed that the same basket of goods that cost $100 in 2019 now cost $136 due to the rise of inflation. Here in Glendale, there are plenty of grocery stores to choose from, from major chains to localized to mom and pop grocery stores, and prices will vary from one store to another. However, the prices of groceries will be slightly higher than the average price in the US. You could expect to spend around $900 per month for a family of four. This can be less if your lifestyle is different. However, if you decide to go out and spend at a restaurant, it will cost about $50 with tax. Glendo also has some high-end restaurants that cost, on average, for two around $150 to $200. Depending on how you live, prices will vary. This is counterintuitive. Gas prices go up in the summertime, especially before a big holiday weekend. Wow. And they were actually dropping before the 4th of July uh, holiday. What's going on? What's the reason? Yeah, that's right. And it may surprise you that we tend to see prices peak not in the summer when demand does peak, but typically prices peak in late spring and early summer after the change over to more expensive summer gasoline. That's also when refineries are finishing up maintenance work. And this summer is kind of holding true to that. Gas prices peaked in the month of May and June, and now we're seeing a nice little decline as supply starts to go up. The other major category that becomes a concern for most of us is transportation. Depending on where you commute to work, this can ding your budget. The average gas price here in Glendale is around $4.98 per gallon to fill up a regular. On the conservative side, if you commute to downtown LA for work, which is about 10 miles, your expense will be approximately $60 to $80 to fill up your tank once per week. Of course, there are other cost-effective options for getting around town. Glendale offers Beeline's bus services for local transportation. Cash fares for regular routes cost a dollar, 
and Los Angeles provides transportation services from buses to metro stations as well. A regular trip costs $1.75, but for students, it's free. There are plenty of options to getting around, but if you're driving, your monthly cost will approximately be $350 per month. You can't drive into Jewel City without auto insurance. Also difficult to say what the average person drives because you'll see different types of vehicles. Auto insurance in Glendale is slightly higher than the average California insurance rate. You can expect to pay about $235 per month for a full coverage plan. Healthcare is a big part of our lives and it's wise to keep a healthy lifestyle for which, in theory, health insurance will cost less. If you're self-employed and you pay for your own health coverage through California Health Exchange, the average premium for an HMO plan is about $900 per month. However, it's imperative to note that choosing the right coverage for you and your family could save you a lot of money. I'm not trying to list all other expenses, but I feel our phone bill is also significant for us. Most people have eliminated landlines and now communicate with cell phones. The average cost per person is $70 per month. There are other expenses such as childcare, clothing, entertainment, and education, which can increase our total monthly expenses. However, the ones I talked about were the necessary living expenses that should be considered. Let's add these up. After adding up these minimum rent costs, we get a monthly expense of $2,840 and the maximum is $4,640 out of pocket. This is what it will cost. Now, if you decide to buy a condo, expect to pay anywhere from $3,940 to $6,140 considering you're a regular W-2 earner. However, if you purchase a single family house, you'll need to pay a minimum monthly payment of $6,920 to a maximum of $12,920. If you have no choice but to purchase in this market, the good news is when the interest rates come back down, you'll pay much less for the housing costs by refinancing. If you're interested in learning more about Glendale, I'll have a link in the description below to download our customized relocation guide. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more real estate tips. Thanks for watching LA's Real Estate Talk, where we talk about real estate and living costs here in Glendale. See you next time.